What is good, UJ fans? It's a real exciting match today. It's Overwatch. Uh, Overwatch. This it's is new like Overwatch. Overwatch. It's Overwatch 2. It's called Valorant. It's uh, <laughs> it's a it's a bit of a divergence from the Overwatch one, but uh, you know it's still interesting. Uh, but we're in a new casting setup, uh, so that's real fun and exciting. We've got new headsets. Uh, we're we're using a, a soundboard. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, they they decided that uh, since our teams have been doing so good that uh, the casters who are by far the real players and the real I, real showstoppers yeah, think, they think, deserve think, something too. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, so we've got a, a nice folding table, which is nice. <laughs> Uh, but well, in, we'll we'll have a desk here soon enough. Yeah, don't it, worry. We're, Once it gets here from China, China. we're waiting on a, a real so fancy, like a, uh, a real fancy streaming desk. <laughs> uh, why is game audio so loud? I'm going to turn that down. Is it loud on your end too? Uh, it's a little loud. It's not too terrible though. Okay, I'm just gonna. Yeah, that's probably right about yeah, that. That's that's better. Okay. Uh, yeah, so hopefully things aren't too loud on your guys' end. If it is, just throw something in chat, uh, and know. we'll respond. Uh, keep in mind there's that three-minute delay, so it might be a few minutes before we do respond, but we, we uh, will respond yep. uh, about as quickly as we can. We're going to get right into pistol rounds here, though. Uh, UJ starting out on defense on bind. Saw them choose this map last week as well, and also start on defense. Um, so hopefully UJ can continue their little bit of a hot streak on this map as they have yet to lose it. See Toji still working this mid. Going to see a lot of that coming out of our jet player. And Toospoil did go with the Sheriff right off the bat. Oh my Ooh. goodness. What a, and that's why he buys Ooh. it. What a shot. That was clean. Oh, yeah, that was a nice little flick. So now with uh, you're up in numbers here, you're playing a little bit more aggressive. You're trying to look for picks as Insanium pushes up with Pot of Greed to find a trade if needed. Pot of Greed in a real aggressive position, but I do like it. I do like it. They both hear the reload, do trade, and wow, and that's going to be a two for nothing on the side of UJ. Pot of Greed and Insanium swinging that corner at the same time, doing a great job picking up both kills there. Vs. I'm just going to call him Vs. Vs does find Toji, though. And Insanium in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, my gosh. He's just too good. Just I, too good. Not going to lie. A little confused what that Viper was doing. Uh, just was really exposed. Saw Insanium. Uh, and just so you guys know, the box that Insanium was hiding behind, you can shoot through. So, yeah, I, I'm not sure why he didn't try to wall bang it there, but oh, oh you see no. yes, though picking up big kills here, and all of a sudden it's a two v one. But Insanium will I, get the wrap as yeah. he does have to stick the plant, and that'll be a round win for UJ. So overall, pretty good, mm -hmm. um, pretty normal sheriff round. You don't normally see very many like flawlesses on sheriff rounds, so no. Um, I one little note is uh, you saw the. Uh, phoenix yes we we saw the phoenix uh spinning while he was planting because he he knew he was pretty uh pretty out of luck yeah, at that he, point he knew he had to get the spike down and yeah. i mean it's you might as well check your corners on the off chance you do get it down mm -hmm. see insane come here straight to the phantom by really kind of just egoing already i don't know if this is a great move but he makes it work yep so, you it know. it doesn't it doesn't matter he just he's just better Oh, oh, he's not better. He just gets, gets one tapped by I'm watch with the sheriff here, and that kind of hurts because that should be a free gun there for the mm -hmm. side of uh, Texas West or West Texas. Which one is it? Uh, Either way, one of the Texas schools. They're from Texas. <laughs> Toji kind of just making a lot of noise here on the flank, and yeah, he's gonna pay for that. Kind of would like to see him shift walk a little more in that yep. scenario. I I do know that Toji is definitely a very aggressive. Uh, Almost boisterous player at times. Yeah, so. too, too Spoiled is running the Marshall. I like it. He really likes this gun a lot. Hopefully he can get something done here. Snacky picks up two with the what? judge. That's going to be huge as she gets uh, Insanium's gun 
mm-hmm. back off the pickup. So it, the gun that was originally four spot is back in the hands of the correct team. Good orb there coming out. Really good setups. They know where he's at now as the bird does get, um, or does notify that it does flash and to spoil to clean it up with the, with that marshal. Two really good rounds coming out there from UJ. Um, I'd like to see a little bit more, or a little bit more patience coming out of Toji there on that uh, flank round. But, mm -hmm. you know, no harm done. We got the guns back, and now Toji's rocking with the op, and he's going to be holding this oh, mid very man. aggressive. I What I would like to see him do is hold on top of Humvee. That way he's got a real aggressive angle like he's doing now, but uh, he can just dash out if... Uh, if need be. I don't mind where he's at, actually. Um, this is a lot better than I think his spot was from last week. Last week, his spot was very aggressive. This, he still has room to dash out, and he'll be okay. That's fair. Bessie's picks up the kill on Insane very early, though, and that's going to be a pretty good sign. It's going to be an early rotate here. Mm-hmm. Oh, and now UJ Snacky goes down, but that'll be back at A site, which is very interesting. C2 Spoil does hit the shot there. Pot of Greed swings, does find one. Toshi picks up the kill with the op on I'm Watch. You know, it's kind of confusing. You don't really know where they're going, but it looks like they're going to have to force B at this point. Yeah, it, this is a weird attack from, yeah. uh, from Texas. There's a, there's, a, there's a lot of teleporters going off, and I'm not sure if it's abilities or if it's – or what the whole case is uh, here. Oh, but Vase picks up a quick kill on Toji. Pot of Greed does trade it out with Shifty. Two Spoiled will get uh, the Phoenix ult off, so that is a good start. Going to have to be a little careful here. Pot of Greed picks up a kill, which I don't even know where the Sova was. And Pot of Greed will finish it off. G great round coming out of Pot of Greed there with a 3k. Possibly even a 4k. Yeah, I believe it was a 4k there oh, out of Pot just, of Greed. He's just too good. He's taking Insanum spot now as, as top bragger. <laughs> yeah, the, ki the killjoy on this map is great for holding, uh, holding down that B side. Mm -hmm. Just because there's so many different places that you can put that turret. Uh, oh, too spoiled with the flicks. Oof, he's too clean. Too spoiled, too clean, too clean with it? He is very clean with it. Um, but like I was saying, there's so many places that you can put that Killjoy turret on B, and they're all just so disruptive to the attack. It's not that it does a lot of damage, it's that it gives the defenders information. Yeah, it's all about that info, and I mean, the extra damage obviously helps a little bit, but it's really all about knowing info and where they're at. Mm -hmm. See a a lot of utility coming out here on the side or on a site. Be interesting to see if they're pushing up with it. Oh, two spoil misses the first two, but makes Doesn't up matter. for it on that third shot. Pretty risky swing here and misses the spray quite a bit. Oh, does pick up it though. Traded out UJ Snacky on that one. Oh, Good nice wall bang. Knows wall. he's right there. Oh, oh my gosh. man, there's four. He must have got info from uh, Toji there. Yes, because. To check that immediately is just so big brain yes. that it it's amazing. Two yeah. spoiled was a great round following up Pot of Greed. Oh yeah, he uh he was upset that Pot of Greed, you know, had six kills and he decided, oh, I kinda wanna catch up a little bit, so maybe Insanum will, will <laughs> pop off this round. Maybe Toji or uh UJ Snacky will pop off this round, who knows? That's one thing that I really do like about this UJ squad is that it doesn't really matter what champions they're on. Champions, the er, he says. Well, agents. heroes, agents, champions, they're all the same. <laughs> um, Legends. They're, they're, all, they're all so mechanically skilled that it doesn't really matter which one you put them on. Um, and every single person becomes a fragger. See some early utility, checking the dog, seeing if there's corners. Oh, almost wears a headshot there. This is a real oh. wide angle, yep. Basics with a nice crouch peek. You don't normally see people crouching while they're peeking, but yeah, it's um, kind of more of an Overwatch thing. I mean, even then. It's not advised, but, you know, Bessix makes it work. They will come. 
Insanium does pop alt here. Kind of a weird corner to cha or to turn. Will use a blind. Hopefully pick up one here. Doesn't find the shots. And that's, oh. you know, on box will get him. Yep. Ooh, Toji does pick up a big kill with yep. this off, though. That makes things a little bit more uh, a little bit more manageable as it's a 3v2 instead of a 4v2. Peter Snacky does even things out. That's definitely a little bit more manageable for you, Jay. Oh. But Mr. I'm Shiftsy over there in short is going to pick up the kill on Toji. So you just snack. He probably has to just. Oh, she I, I think get she it had to half. half stick that. Yeah, I think she had to half stick it and just misses. Either way, though, um, does or Shifty does end up going down as having to play defense on that. So not the worst round in the world for them to lose. Is it still e or Econ hurt uh, mm -hmm. Texas West? Yep, they did get the plant money, they did get the kill money, but they didn't get any of their guns to transfer over, and that can matter sometimes. Yep. See, probably going to be a, about a half eco here. That's... Oh, it looks, like weird... looks like they're going to go a little bit more than half eco, as they're kind of fully committing right at the last second. Toji on just the classic is... I'd assume Toji pops knives here in this fight. Yeah, and it looks like he already has. Yes, okay. So... Toshi will just run with the knives and the classic. Pretty normal thing to see Jets do on save rounds. That's fair, yep. Because it is effectively a gun. It does the same thing as Yeah, a gun. as long as you hit your hit your knives. It, it's it, like it's kind of a vandal in a way. It's a it's a infinite ammo reset as long as you hit the knives. <laughs> yeah, just don't miss five shots and and then you have infinite ammo. But if you miss five shots, <laughs> now you have a classic instead of infinite ammo. Yeah. I really like this corner that he's holding. I kind of hope he doesn't push it, though. Yeah, and, oh, and as I say that, yeah. alarm bot goes off. Ooh, Toji messes up his smoke and ends up blinding himself. Yeah, that's, The turret uh, does, however, announce that somebody is up there, along with whatever the heck Sky's ability is called that does that. Insane him. Just a uh, victim to some <laughs> Valorant timing, if I've ever seen it. Yeah, I... I would have really liked to see him just hold that corner and mm -hmm. listen for either the alarm bot, which he knew was set up there, or for an orb. Um, yeah, even play a little bit more passively, I think. Um, just because you said the alarm bot was there. You yeah, can afford it, to play really, really passively at that angle. If he, Oh, oh that was a hard through, swing. Through the blind. Yeah. That ends up hitting the shot, and he will blind himself again and proceed to go down. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it, that time it was two spoiled splash. Uh, he also blinded himself, I'm Did pretty he? sure. Oh, okay. However, Two Spoil and Pot of Greed are on the retake here, and... and they know last one make... is in U-Haul. Yep. Two Spoil drops a little bit of healing. That'll be pretty nice. And I'm Watched goes... Or I'm Watched does get to pick kill on Pot of Greed. This makes things... Oh, it's not going to be winnable. Nope. Looking for the trade. I'm Watched played that very yes, well. Yes, that was very, very well played. I do think that... Uh, who was, who was the other person? Was it? It was Pot of Greed. Pot of Greed, okay. Uh, I do think that he could have played that a little bit more passively. I think he swung a little wide. Yeah. And I, if, if UJ had just pushed him at the same time, I I think that that could have went in UJ's favor pretty easily. I but, agree. I actually would have liked to see Pot of Greed just stick it there and have, just have two spoiled cover. And have two spoiled watching that yes, door. Because you already knew he wasn't, or you already knew I'm watched wasn't going to come back through showers. Yes. However, we'll see most likely, yeah, almost a full eco here. Just a marshal and a spec or specter picked up on the side of UJ. Kind of got to be a little more careful. Some good shots coming out, but doesn't find the head. Luckily, though, he did not take damage from it. And that's yep. That is a big deal. Toji just running the classic again. Uh, he must really be hurting for some money right now. Let's see. Yeah, he's pretty. L oh, actually, he has pretty good money. It looks like he's trying to buy for the next two rounds. Mm -hmm. I assume. Make sure he can pay off that op he's gonna purchase. Very slow start. T uh, Texas West is really not pushing too hard. Is some vision coming out on B, however. Joke's over. 
turret does get destroyed. Ooh, Insanum just yeah. popping off. Oh, and there's a three. Third. And this rain is just going to full heal. <laughs> and the bulldog trades out well. for no, the Spectre, want... rather. Yeah, it doesn't want the bulldog. It's understandable. I'm not a big fan of the bulldog either. Nice round there coming out of uh, Insanum. And that's what I w would have liked to see him do two rounds ago is just sit in that corner and wait. Just pop off. Just yeah. kill three. Yeah, just Why couldn't you, know, you do that two rounds dude, ago? Just pop off. What are you doing? Looks like they're going to buy for oh. Insanum anyways, oh, no. and they might not use the Bulldog. Oh, no. It's Leo Boys is in chat, and he brought feet with him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the feet. Oh, this isn't foreheads, chat. You can't put feet here. <laughs> oh, no, bro. Pot of Greed got real aggressive with this turret. Looks like they want this orb pretty bad. However, maybe I'm incorrect, and they are not going to play for orb. Looking for swing instead. That that was a weird turret shot. Yes. I'm, I'm not sure. I think that was <laughs> just bugged. I, there is a chance. That was quite weird. Because <laughs> there's no jet on the other team. There's no way anyone could have, like, dashed over there. Yeah. I. And you would have got the audio cue yeah. from it as well. So yeah. I don't know. That was... Maybe it was just a caster's view. I'm not Maybe. sure. Maybe. That's true. It could be It, it was bug. quite weird, though. However, no harm. Looks like EJ's uh, still playing the slow with Texas. Oh, however, Toji picks up the kill on Brad Tommy 11. Nopping this window here is a really good play. However, it does get flashed. Will make things a little more difficult. Oh, misses it. Misses shots. Oh, great Good shot, shot go coming out. Though. And Insanium picks up I'm Watched on the on the long flank. Pot of Greed ends up pushing in and killing two. And that'll That's just wrap up the round. Lawless round for you, Jay. That's a really big deal. That is that a really big deal. That was coming off of an eco. <laughs> That's Good. a really, really big deal. Yeah, that's coming off of a full or almost a full buy right there, and that'll give them a good amount of money in the bank now. Mm -hmm. And that's really hurting uh, West Texas A&M's yeah. um, econ, too. Yeah, the very well played there from uh, Toji getting those early opening picks. And then after that, it just kind of – it seems like whenever Texas doesn't get the first pick, they just kind of sit in one spot yep, and they, they just get pitched they don't know on what to do. Closed. It seems like. I would agree. It, they, I don't. I don't want to say they get timid necessarily, but once they're at a player disadvantage, yeah, I think they, they realize that they need to play a little bit more defensively. They can't take these aggressive peaks. It's almost like and, they get too defensive. Yeah, you know? I I think so. It's not necessarily that they're scared to take fights. It's that they know better, but they're overcompensating for being down a man. Yeah, I I completely agree there, Clicky. Looks like we're going to see quite a bit of action coming in on A, and Pot Shot. of Greed just wipes the Phoenix off the map. I, random side note, what a tiny little reticle. I, I really like the reticle. Mine's it's so small. Even mine's only a tad bigger. Unfortunate oh, swing no. by Insanum, and Brad Tommy does get the kill on Pot of Greed as well, making this a 3v2. Still in favor of UJ, however. Brad Tommy nuts? Tommy Brad cracked? Sounds like one of those, like, snooty boy, like, clothes brands. Good shot there. That's pretty hard to do with the op. I know it? they're short. Brad Tommy? What? Sounds like it, like, one of, it sounds like an Aeropostale esque <laughs> brand. It kind of does. It kind of does. Probably just his name, realistically. Pretty sure they uj yep and yep. uj definitely knows they've rotated over to b now so now they're on the retake game very aggressive running right across there even with a bird out that's a good spray though i really like that spray from two spoiled oh unfortunate Ooh. shock nade there i'd be very careful swinging these corners you know the killjoy has already come around there once um two spoiled died earlier in the game oh a big pickup and shifty does get the trade And Snacky, nice. <laughs> Snacky will get the kill. 
and I have no idea what that is, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a really uh, cool <laughs> final kill animation. Oh. That's awesome. That's so yeah, cool. That oh, that's sick. That is pretty cool. I never seen it light up the whole map. Yeah, that was awesome. So UJ is in a really good spot here. Is now there's two, looks like there will be two ops on the field, as Ooh. well as as well as all the phantoms. That's um, that is a hefty buy, but what's UJ's UJ's econ is still really good though. Well, well even after have, this round. Yeah, you have to think Toji didn't buy his op. He has it from last yeah. round. Yeah. So the only person he bought was too spoiled, um, or at least in terms of ops. Yes. I'm a did, big fan of this corner. Did UJ snack? Yeah, she insta popped her ult. <laughs> Just vibing out in her ult, you know? That's fair. Is that the skin that's playing music? Yeah, the skin plays music. That is pretty cool. I'm not sure how competitively viable yeah, that I don't is, know. though. <laughs> like, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's only when you're inspecting it that it plays yeah. music. Okay. I wonder if enemies can hear that. That's a good question. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, this this uh, this Viper alt's going to be a quite a bit of time stall. You might see them just have to push B here, or they're going to be waiting and very aggressively attacking. But <laughs> Insanium will pick up good old Brad Dami. Ah, oh, Lil Shep 2005 in chat. That was a good dink on Insane. Yeah. Varys has kind of been the star so far here for Texas and keeps getting kills to trade back here. Mm -hmm. will not kill Rez does come out, but instantly shot. Toji will take I, down Shifty. Uh, a little bit of a slow shot, but didn't take any damage. Did get the kill, so no issue there. I think it was more important to hit the shot, and you might see it here again. I would have liked to Good see him wall shot. bang, but he does get clicked that shot. Yep, and we did hear... Yeah, you did hear the teleporter, uh, so you should know it's a yep. insta-rotate. You just snacky is covering. <laughs> and that Viper oh, alt still is up. <laughs> Very well played there from yeah. Snacky and all of UJ. Because she can basically solo hold a at that point because it's so so hard to push viper and her ult because if you're an attacker and you're walking into that one you're taking a lot of damage mm. from the ult it can't kill you but it will set you to one health um as well as very limited visibility so if uh you just snacky were to see uh the attacker walking through the edge of her ult just entering the big cloud she has the advantage because she sees them before they see her uh, Toji taking down Vise instantly, too. That's a really big deal, and that's a good second kill from Potagreed. <laughs> yeah, good, good swing there from Potagreed. Nice little bait. I appreciate it. And instantly Potagreed and Insanium go on the go on the flank. They're right. hungry for blood. And that's a good awareness. They know that no one else can be uh, in this area, and so they're, they're just uh, pushing together because if one of them does go down, the other trades instantly. Yep, so it's... absolute worst case. They go one for one. Yeah, it's a great play. <laughs> and then Sonium finds I'm boxed just on the rotate. Not really there. Oh. And this is a big flank. Yeah, Flawless great again, job. Dude. You know, this this comp is so hard to attack into as you have both yes. of those controllers. Yeah, Viper on the attack isn't quite as good, but Viper on defense is just brutal. And I would argue that the Viper on attack is actually more beneficial than the KJ on attack. Oh yeah, better better than Killjoy, I would agree. Um, it, she, even then, uh, we can still see uh, Potagreed do what we saw him do last round with his turret, where he kind of just baited the turret. The attacker instantly shot the turret. He swung, and got a free kill because of it. So he can still do that kind of stuff. See the Phoenix alt coming out here. He'll play very aggressively. And instantly we'll get taken out by Snacky. Like to see it. However, enemy Killjoy out comes in and it is in a pretty good spot, but I'm Watch will push Ooh. through and I'm Box will as well. And Snacky almost gets three out of that. And UJ's already on the lurk. I, and Sonium I, with big kill there. Knows where they're at. That'll be yeah. two. And he knows where the third is. He's going to go for hungry. it. He's hungry. He wants yep, it. He wants that. There kill. it is. <laughs> 
he saw he saw him shift C go into the or go into who hookah yeah go into yeah. go into hookah right before and yeah he he knew and a great job by snacky there before she went down to pick up those two kills knowing that she probably wasn't going to get out of that kill joy all a uh, little shop 2005 yes we do in fact have a valorant team and it would seem they're actually pretty good <laughs> so it's encouraging you love to see it especially because there's a lot of younger players on the team too yeah there are quite a few younger players uh i believe the oldest is pot of greed who is the senior and i believe this well, is he, his last year well playing, he's but uh in the second year of his master's program yeah yeah but like it'll be his last year yes on the team um but aside from pot of greed everyone else would be yeah the returning. next closest would be a junior and <clears throat> that's in uj snacky yep uh and then next year we also uh are supposed to be getting a uh an immortal ranked sentinel player which would just replace pot of greed so yeah, it... the team would be just as good if not better next year yeah, and well, the thing is, though, is if you we do recruit um, and we do get the immortal player in, he probably won't play Sentinel. He'll probably get moved to Fragger because with aim like that, you you just well, have to be. On, on one hand, I would agree. On the other hand, um, he IGLs really hard. Uh, for the, for those of you that don't know what IGL means, it means in-game leader. So what? he's like making shot calls and that kind of stuff. And UJ's and so, just collecting. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, but... If you have uh, your IGL on a Sentinel, then he's he's more able to set up plays for his team and enable the fraggers like uh, like Insanum, for example. Uh, he can be playing the Sova, the Sky, um, stuff like that, and he he can enable uh, Toji and Insanum uh, to to just get those kills, get advantage early in the round uh, through his in-game knowledge, you know? Because Immortal, probably pretty <laughs> knowledgeable about the game. Yeah. Um, I, Immortal is the second highest ranked the in, in Valorant, by the way. Yeah, I I agree with you. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they do next year. Uh, UJ does lose and sign him pretty early, but already has three kills to trade out for it, and Brady mm -hmm. Tom will pick up the kill on Toji. Um, should have some damage on yeah. him, and Two Spoiled will find it. Knows oh, exactly no! where he's at. And, oh, he's oh. clean. He's too clean. It's just... You know, this is, this is UJ's... One of their favorite maps to go to, and, you know, it just really shows. They've only lost six total rounds on this entire map so far that seems good that's it's just dominant performance when you see this thank you um lil shep so who is on the team we've got cole is too spoiled we have autumn is uj snacky we've got alex is pot of greed brett is insane -um, and fredo as toji yeah you have uh you have two debatably three plat players and then the rest are all gold Ooh, and toji picks up some nice yeah, kills those there are really clean. yeah really good crosshair placement and spray control it seems like you're just gonna get a pretty free plant so now they're just gonna be watching the rotate back from uh back from alley <laughs> yeah and, and insane just wants kills yep he, <laughs> and toji will pick it up and close this one out uh, I believe the maps have already been decided, and I want to say the yes. next one is Ascent. So it will be interesting to see it as it'll be the first time UJ's played Ascent. Um, see if they have, or what their game plan is for that one. See, uh, Insane him top frags with 20 and 8. A great showing from him. Wild. Uh, aside from Vice being uh, definitely... The uh, I, I don't want to say the hard carry necessarily, but like the the fragger of uh, West Texas A and M, it it would be entirely UJ that is on the top of the scoreboard. So that's quite funny. Yeah, UJ had a UJ had a great showing there. Um, oh oh, it's Haven next map. Just kidding. Not ascent. Okay. Ascent must be the map the last map if they uh, if they have to go there, but. 
Uh, I'm going to go grab a beverage real quick, so I'm going to leave you guys with Quick Kill just for 30 <laughs> seconds. Ish. You're stuck uh, with me. Yeah, um, don't, don't do anything that you wouldn't do when I was here, you know? Why are to, you uh, telling that to me? Oh, you know, keep an eye on him, chat. Uh, I'll keep an eye on chat, I think is what you meant to say. Yeah, it's okay. It's coming. So now that he's gone, chat, how's your? How is it? You know, your favorite, your favorite caster, Quick Kill here. Um, you know, pretty good games overall. Pretty excited to see the Valorant team off to such a hot start. How are you guys today? Now, should be loading into this uh, next game here pretty soon. Possibly not. It looks like EJ Snacky has left the party. So, um, that may, may be a sub, and yet, oh, man, you're yeah. going to see a sub. Exa, exapotheosis comes in. The little huff. The little huff. Uh, exapotheosis is pot of greed's little brother. Still quite large, though. They're both very tall. Saw um, Exapotheosis come in last game and play the Sova on Icebox, and he did a great job. He ended up uh, not top fragging, but being the second frag mm -hmm. as he subbed in for the top frag of last or of last week's first game, Too Spoiled. That was a harder way than I needed to make that. <laughs> uh, you, you got your point across. That's all that matters. Yeah, that was a dominant performance there on uh, on Bind. That was really nice. Yeah, um, I wouldn't be surprised if other teams start, you know, paying attention to map picks and kind of seeing the final outcomes and just, mm -hmm. you know, either, either saying we're going to take them to Bind because, you know, we think – we have a better bind set up. Or, which they're wrong. But. Or it, <laughs> which they're wrong. Or if they just, you know, say we so, don't want to see them on this map, you know, that's our one map ban. So we've seen UJ on bind. We've seen them on icebox. Is that it? And that is, is it. Yeah, because last time <laughs> they played bind. Um, and now we're going to see them on Haven, which, if I'm not mistaken, Haven is one of their uh, more preferred maps? Haven is a very interesting map for you, Jay. Um, it's great for the fact that we have a, or that we're going to be running Toji on the jet and, yeah. you know, jet opping in on Haven is possibly one of the best maps to jet op. Yeah. Um, it does get a little bit interesting though, when you come into, or when it comes to like terms of controllers, um, you'll probably see Exapathias on the Sova. Um, but I think we might actually see like either a two, two or three fragger, or possibly two spoiled on the sky, mm -hmm. with pot of greed and insane on the Reina and Phoenix. Yeah. But I could be completely wrong. Um, I know that they've done some interesting strategies in the past, um, especially on teams that they've kind of handled, mm -hmm. and it looks like we're gonna have another sub come in. So Insanium, our top fragger from last game, will most likely be replaced by Joe. Um, Joe plays a lot of Cypher, which I also really like on yeah. this pick or on this map. Um, I do like Cypher on this map too. I, th I agree. yeah, I think I think Cypher pretty much by himself can hold C for the most part, mm -hmm. and then if you put Sova on either A or well, probably A. A is probably better for him. Yeah, and then. Um, you kind of have Toji play that mid or garage role, so he has quick rotates and, you know, can look for those early frags. Um, it'll be interesting to see if Two Spoiled goes with the Sky here or if he plays maybe the Astra. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, I feel like some of these picks are, like, for sure lock-ins. Like, I, th I think you're going to see the Cypher. Yep. But it'll be interesting to see what our um, two starters choose to do. Uh, and uh, Greenless Grievous, I believe is how you say the name. I uh, want some beverage ASMR, so I, I got you. I got you. <sighs> didn't even, you couldn't hear the like, drinking. Yeah, but you didn't even let it fizz. I think he thought like maybe it was like a can, like the crack oh, of a can. Oh, here, I'll, I'll 
I'll take my bottle and I'll like yeah, shake it up yeah. a little you bit. Gotta, you gotta make it like close to the mic to yeah. just get the full effect. Good enough. <sighs> it's like a, it's like that uh, movie theater um, ad for Coca Cola where they pour the Coke in the popcorn bucket. And yeah. Like, oh, uh, it's yeah. so satisfying. It is very satisfying. <laughs> so it looks like Pot of Greed might be on this. Jet and not Toji, and Toji looks like he's going this with is, the Rays. This is an interesting mix-up. I, I know UJ does tend to get a little overconfident their <laughs> second map, and that might be what's happening with the with the character picks. But it, it does appear that way. This is a very interesting. And Joe does lock the sage, so we will not see the cipher coming out, Choose which Choose is spoiled on the omen. Kind of a surprise in itself. Potagree does lock the jet, and Toshi locks the rays. Looks like this is what they want to go with. Um, okay. Two Spoiled does play quite a or has played quite a bit of Omen, so yeah. I, that's not too much of a surprise. No. However, Potagree and Toji swapping on the jet um, in rays rolls is a little bit different, and I was very surprised to see the Sage pick I, up by Joe. You know, even though I think I would like to see Toji on the jet... I, I think I understand their thought process because Toji, you know, we've seen <coughs> him play very, very aggressive. And Rays totally fits that play style. Yes. Um, and so they are putting their now current opper, who is uh, Pot of Greed, on the jet because you're not going to see a Rays opping. Yeah, not very often. Very, very few scenarios will you see the Rays op. Um. Overall, I actually still like the team comp and what they did. I think Sage is a very strong pick. I was just surprised to see it come out of Joe. If I figured it was going to be anyone, I figured it would have been Pot of Greed. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it, it might be nice and refreshing to see Joe on a on his first ever um, on his first ever UJ game for our esports team. He's running the Rays, which is not his main comfort. It's kind of nice to see him branch out. Pretty good dart comes out. Looks like they hard pushed a pot of greed nose. Next Pothius picks up the first kill. The <laughs> the Huff brothers. Oh. The Huff oh, brothers. Oh man! You saw some nice tactical Wait, so crouching just to uh, avoid. Oh, I thought everyone got a kill. No, oh, Shan. Poor Joe. He was late to the party. It happens. But as a sage, you shouldn't be looking for those kills. No. You should be, uh, you should be in the, alive. the back of the back line. <laughs> you are the, the it's utility al It's character. always fun, though, and to see a, see a top fragging sage. <laughs> yeah, it, is, it can happen. It's not usual. Looks like Pot of Greed is going to get pretty aggressive here up this... Um, up this A short. Joe, there we go. Joe's on the board. Let's go! Instant kill on I'm Shifty. Looks like Pot of Greed will be going for this long freak, and Joe, Joe gets, gets a, a second. second. He's goaded, and now he'll put up the wall. Oh, very good. Oh, wall. oh, okay. A little okay, bit risky fine, there. Got fine. a little excited. Didn't realize there was going to be another one. However, Pot of Greed picks up. And, oh, there we go. There, there, there. And there we, there we go. go. There we go. <laughs> we got it eventually. Yet again, another very good round coming out of UJ. <laughs> It definitely feels like defense is what UJ favors and would like to be on first. Yep, I I would agree. It seems like they just get their advantage on defense. Yeah, and almost like boom the mentals of the other team a little bit. Yeah, and their attack is just. I'm not gonna say it's free, but they definitely make it a little bit more free. Yeah, I would very much agree with you. Um, there's some big, oh, big pushes coming in. Oh, here. it it. Seems like we have a, a we have a special guest caster? in the building. I know we have a third headset. Is there if a third I headset? Can, yes, there is. Oh, I, I was gonna say I don't know it. where it's at. I I have found a third headset. If Wait, what do you uh, mean by that? If our caster would uh -oh. like to uh, assume his default crouching pose over here, <laughs> come on. No, he he can't. Oh, said he you're can't. not allowed to cast. Fine. That's all right. When the game's done. Exapotheus does find the spike kill, and now UJ is just camping spike and long. Mm -hmm. And this is a good play coming out of them. The f oh! <laughs> the just instantly. 
and EJ so will control it. it very nicely done. You know, one thing that I've really liked is um, the very aggressive flanks on this map. This map is a lot of, or is a lot bigger of a map. Um, kind of hard to do rotates quickly, so sending people on these early flanks once you have a advantage is kind of nice. See, Toji and Xpathy is going for the no-kill game right now. Hopefully they can keep that going here, but I might have just cast or cursed them. And Potagree finds Verse very early. And Oh, and there he goes, Toji. Oh, eh. Xpathy gets very low there. I mean, not that it matters a ton, because he can't die. That's true. Both teams smoke. even. It's a 4v4 right now. He will get the heal from his Sage. Very good on their part. Pot of greed on the yeah, pot of greed on the very flank. aggressive flank here. Does that work? Does find one. Won't be able to pick up the other. So it's now a three v three. They know that there's an enemy heading up, um, heading up this A side, and they expect that all three will probably be there. Early flash, very good by Joe to dodge that. And like we mentioned earlier, just as a. Uh, as the sage, we don't really want to see him taking the fights himself. He's more more there to support his teammates. Yeah, I really like the slow play. He knows where he's at, and that's going to be a free kill right there. One enemy Very good retake coming in from UJ. Just has one more to kill here, and looks like Joe will wrap it up. Joe played that retake very well on the sage. He's popping? Joe, he's popping? He's top Joe bragging? Joe is popping. Oh, he's almost top bragging. One four, more. Four and one. Joe the top fragger. By the way, his actual name also is Joe. Fun fact. Fun fact. Joe is Joe. Joe is, in fact, Joe. So if you know a guy named Joe, <laughs> probably this guy. I I don't think that's how that works, I think Clicky. that's how that works. Prove it. Do you know someone that's named Joe that isn't this Joe? No, you don't. Uh, yeah, Joe Jonas. How do you know that's not him? Uh, actually, that's a good point. Yeah, that's what that's I'm saying. Point. Every Joe is the same Joe. They're a hive mind. That's how <laughs> the name works. That's why every, every clicky is clicky. This is true. We are also a hive mind. I've actually run into other clickies before. It's upsetting. <laughs> a lot of you tell coming out. Do, they do know that at least uh, I'm Swifty is, or I'm Shifty is in mid. But that's about the only information they've gotten out of all that util so far. They're three holding C, which is a very interesting approach right now. I do like this wall pretty early on. Um, knows it's going to break, and this is a very strong position to be holding. Joe really likes getting on top of that wall. I mean, I can't blame him. It's definitely unexpected. Yeah, the, t the top of the wall strategy used by a lot of Sage players is pretty nice because um, you have vision where they don't, and they have to essentially just show you their head. Ooh. Great kill coming out from Toji on the swing. Does take some damage, however, and needs to play a little careful, but he is the fragger, so he will be looking. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. The target prioritization, even. Oh, just no. Oh, so nice. <laughs> he blast packs right into the last member of Texas. Unfortunately, was not able to get his gun out, but UJ will clean up the kill. But and imagine if he did. <laughs> oh, that's just that's just disheartening. Yeah, that would have been a uh, big blow for the side of Texas. However, a five nothing start to the game is already a pretty big blow. Yeah. Um, UJ playing defense very strong today. Looks like Pot of Greed did get off. the Vandal, or <laughs> did get the Operator. The Vandal. Silly me. It's like, it's kind of like a Vandal, except it only fires one bullet at a time, and it does Ex a lot of damage. Expothes and... is popping. Oh! 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 Good! Oh! How good at this game! Oh! 10 HP in a dream, but it doesn't matter if he gets four. Oh, he's too good! Toji stole the last kill from him. It would have been an ace. Woo! x is going to have some words with Toji after this one. But a very strong round. And 6-0, UJ goes up.
You know what oh. I have to say to that? That was exciting. Oh! Oh! It was, what a what a what a time! I'll find uh, I I don't even want to stop specking him. He's just, just go go to Pot of Greed real quick. I just oh, oh okay well they, <laughs> we just they might not push that way in. anymore. Never mind. Toshi nope, picks never up. Never mind. One. I like the grenade. Yes. Big fan. Raises. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did well. not expect her to be there. No. This should be a free kill, though, here. Oh, does get blinded. We'll have to get out of the way. The hard off shot, but it is still doable. Oh! Clearly oh! doable. Read him like a book. And it was the Reyna that was on the left, so he knows his left is probably clear. It's true. And Joe picks up a kill, and I'm shifting it down in mid. And this makes the or this makes this back alley almost completely free for Pot of Greed. <laughs> Joe pick up another one. Only one player left. Just the Sobo. Not quite sure where he's at, but you'd expect a save coming out. The economy cannot be good. Oh. Oh well, However, they know where as, he is. <laughs> as I say that, definitely you, not saving. And UJ will mow him down. See Toji top fragging right now, 10 and 3. Uh, three alts on the side of UJ, however, and Sage's res, which may be big, especially in terms of if, like, we're, um, especially in terms of if there comes down to it, you know, a, a one, 2v1 or 1v1. You know what I have to say to that? What? Oh! Oh, so exciting. Woo! We love reses! UJ kind of popping, though. NGL gonna lie. Like, 7 now. Killjoy knife coming in. And Killjoy alt coming in. Looks like everyone knows it's gonna be an attack on A. Toji finds the kill, however. Oh, but Toji oh. will get traded out by Briad Tommy. Oh. Cool. Someone found the lockdown. Yeah, that's kinda cool, I guess. Pot of Greed. <laughs> Pot, jeez, Pot of Greed picks up his third with the op. And Joe is just going to, you know, do a Sage thing. And yep. Defuse the spike while everyone else slow kills. there, so he can't push. And There's no reason not to save here. If he somehow yeah, there's, dies. There's no reason not to save. Okay. And UJ knows that, so they're going to try and hunt, but there's not much of a no, chance. No, he was gone a long time ago. Yeah. He was over at sea by then. <laughs> Pot agreed with a big round there, and you know we talked about it to begin this map that jet opping. This is probably one of the best maps, and he finds three there. Uh, could be Joe Swanson. Right, like I said, they are a hive mind. So uh, maybe Joe Swanson and like Joe Jonas are the same person. <laughs> oh, think of that. <laughs> What is going on, dude? They very, He's just in there. Yeah, very aggressive by Toji there. Um, and actually, Joe's in a little bit of trouble right now as well. Nah, he, he threw down the back slow. Out He's here. fine. Pot of greed with the knives. He comes around from. He comes around from a. He's just going in. Yeah, he's, no hu shift he's walking hungry for at him. this point. He got two with knives. He gets oh his his little brother steals the kill that, from him. That's really unfortunate yeah, actually because now he doesn't toxic. have knives. However, he still has the op, but it is not the best. You couldn't hear it, so you know the spikes planted over at A. Yep. So now in a two v two situation, Pot agreed. And his little brother will re Oh, oh my no! Goodness. A great angle was held. Very good angle coming out there um, from the enemy. At this KO. Point, I couldn't remember what that hero was called. Oh, what? What? Yeah, you guys didn't see uh, that. So uh. ju just to be clear, we can. Oh. Oh. Okay. So if only he had time. Just, just to be clear, we can still hear when people yell in the new lair, and uh, there were some definitely audible what's coming from the Valorant players as well with that spray through the smoke. That was so, 
That was quite a surprise. Oh, that was... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> listen, listen, uh, ex Bathius, we already had to replay one game. Let's not make it two. Yeah, you're, Chill you're out just there. clearly walling. Like, what? I, you know, some like... What would even incline you to spray there? Well, I mean, it's a good it's a good like, idea. Like, okay, like, it just blind spraying makes sense, but like, yeah, what? And, and if if you're you know the enemy viper and you're standing in your alt, you're gonna stand close to the spike. Yeah, but like, it was still just an insane shot. Yeah, it was a headshot, no less. Yeah, for real. A lot of early action coming on, or at least a lot of smoke checking. What? UJ did find a kill somewhere in that mess. And it will be up in a four or in a five to four. Joe finds another and Pot Agreed finds the or finds the third. Five V two, five V one. Oh five V zero. Five V zero. I so not to continue talking about last round, but uh, so just to be clear, the one round that Texas West A and M has won on this map. None of their players were alive to see it. <laughs> yeah, it has been it has been a lot of UJ hunting for blood here. Um, and and blood they've it. gotten. <laughs> they have found all of the blood every single what, round. What's what? So twelve and three, twelve and five, eleven and one, eight and two, six and two. Literally any of these players could be top fragging in a pubs game with these stats. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's been honestly kind of a slaughter in terms of kills. Yeah. Um, however, oh, Bears with the does pick Aries. up does pick up two spoil with the Aries his first kill this time, and Pot agreed will take some early damage. Misses the turret shot. Oh, just line it up, just line it up. Yeah, you know. However, it won't matter as um, Toji and Joe do find two more. Spike did go down, however, on uh, on C. You just got to be a little bit careful here as retaking the site is sometimes difficult. Ferris holding another good angle. I'm not quite sure what I'm watch was holding, but Let's see the start and defuse here. Probably. Pot agreed picks up oh, the last okay. kill and UJ, you know, a good retake yet again comes oh, he, through with the win. He was in what do you call that closet? Yeah, the cubby. Cubby. I, I, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Cuz I was I was going to say like right before he died I expected him to be there, and Pot of Greed was on the same wavelength as me. We were energetically aligned. Yeah, I expected him to be long. Um, I didn't know if he was going to be long, though, or if he was going to be cubby. So I'll Always cubby. Never not cubby. Always long. Never not long. Oh, okay. See, now Pot of Greed owes me $20 because we're energetically aligned. <laughs> <laughs> I want $20. You have $20. Oh, that's a really interesting yeah. recon bolt, I, I but I like, like it. it. <laughs> Good spray through the wall. Oh, no. Bro, oh, no! He timed it just wrong and will fall with his alt, which means he will not have alt for next round. It, two spoil gets two off of it, however. It makes it a 3v3 as Spike does get planted on A. Spike planted. And UJ on the retake yet again. Joe is, is already in a little bit of an aggressive and dangerous spot, but hopefully he can pull this off. He should know that one's... Yeah, he was going to say, he should know that one's under. Oh, I, <laughs> good Definitely a, a bit of a lucky spray, but it's good. Exapathis in the 2v1. He, he kind of wins find these. find the clutch up here. I don't think he's going to be. He's got to go. Actually, at this point, you just force it. Yeah, I mean, just get two kills like you did last time. It doesn't matter if you lose the round if they're all dead. Get out of there. Yes! <laughs> oh, oh. Just, <laughs> just in range. Literally a step more. But he, he got there. the kill money, and yeah. that's what matters. He, he one, pad, pads one, the stats. Yep, one more kill on the scoreboard is all that matters. So at half, we got a 10-2 scoreline for UJ, mm. same as the first map, and Toshi's at 14-6 and six at top fragger here. 
like even Joe, who hasn't even played in a competitive game yet, like for Valorant this season, he even he's popping. Like yeah. everyone's popping. Yeah, this is Joe's first ever <clears throat> first ever UJ match, and he's eleven and four. Yeah, like, that's that's good. There there was no nerves for him. No, he's he's just pure confidence, man. Man of confidence. Yeah. And, you know, that's what you like to see, you know. Sometimes you get players who, I mean, even even some of your veteran players still get a little nervous before games start. And, you know, he comes in and he's just ready to go. I like the heal from Joe through the smoke there. <laughs> VS turns the corner there, expecting one and finds three. And Joe gets another one here with the classic. I mean, it was a classic right click, so it doesn't really count. No, but... it counts. It's it's classic, but shotgun classic. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful job coming out there from UJ, and they're going to clean up round 11. Actually, it's round 14, technically. No, 13. Well, yeah. Math's hard. Why does the classic have a right click? It's a good um, question. Because they, were just, or they said that this game is too hard. And so let's make it easy. Let's, for... let's just give them the ability to fire, like, four bullets at once. Yeah, I have no idea. I cannot name a single player that actually think it's that actually thinks it's fair. No, it seems fair, because they, they spread out in a not linear <laughs> fashion. <laughs> oh, and Joe, with the early kill, probably will heal himself here once he has the chance. I can't be sure. Nah, heals are only for teammates. It was a very good swing by him. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And you're going to instantly see a rotate here to see. Gonna... Why? What is going on Why? here? He trapped himself in the corner, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, Joe is trolling himself. Uh, Joe gets trolled by Brad Tommy as well. Mr. Brad Tommy is... It looks uh... like they're not even going to be playing for plant here. It looks like they kind of just want to get the kill. I think they're going to have to plant when they realize that no one is coming. No, oh, he's still there. Why is he still there? Yeah, they... <laughs> Why? <laughs> and you can see UJ's confidence just keeps yeah, going it, up. It, they, they're just holding W. They don't even want to plant Spike. They're just playing for kills. Is it's it BM? A, it's a little BM. But is it funny? To us... Mm. Yeah, it's it's a it's a race for who can top frag here at this point. Yeah, Toji and Apotheosis. I so it depends how you look at it because Toji has more kills, but Apotheosis has a fourteen KD right now. He's it's died true. one time. <laughs> it's true. And you and know what that one death was? It was the spike. He hasn't even died to the enemy team. And you already know UJ's having a lot of fun with it as they buy two marshals <laughs> and a judge when they have a, more than oh, enough econ. Oh, no. Potic Brad Tommy with the judge of his own. Oh, oh, and Vice with the dink. I'm box with the kill. And UJ it's got a little. falling apart. UJ must probably got a little too confident here. You know, I, I give Too Spoiled like a 20% chance of winning this yet. He does have his favorite gun, but it will not be enough. 20% isn't super likely, as you see there. But it could have <laughs> happened. Okay, so let, let's buy let's buy actual guns. Yeah, I, I would be surprised if no, not three no, of them no. buy semi-real guns. If I just see five sheriffs, dude. Well, you know, the share, the share eco. Joe on the classic yet. Well, you know, we've seen how powerful it is with its right click, so. That's true. He is powerful with uh, with Joe. Joe's just powerful. Well, I, w I was saying the classic is powerful when it's oh, in the hands oh. of Joe. Oh, I was saying that Joe's just a powerful human. Joe is also just powerful. There's, there's a lot the, of power in that man. The man uses tech decks. Have you seen him? That's true. He's swaggy. It's true. There's nothing like a study hall tech deck. <laughs> what a phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Joe trades the spike out. He wants the kill. It's a four v four here for the side of, or for both sides. For the side of both. For the yeah, for the I, side of both. Yeah. Toji does find the kill on I'm box, and Toji has both kills this round. Oh, but too spoiled picks up the third. He's as gonna I just say ruin that. things for Toji. 
They want it. They want it. It's 4v1. And, you know, this... They, the Killjoy has to push this, otherwise it's game, so... And if she does push this, it's still probably oh, game. Does find Toji, but does with or with that kill should give away um, all the information that Xbox needs. However, I'm mean, Shifty picks up Joe. Uh oh. Uh -oh. And picks up two spoils. 1v4? 1v4? No, he knows better. He's just going to play He shock knows cards, better. Right? He knows better. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just he's just toying with this oh and <laughs> well that'll wrap it up right there <laughs> uh 13 3 finish on both maps i believe uh or was the first one 13 2 uh, i think one it was 13 2 i think it was 13 3 um it was two or three on both maps it was i mean i guess it, it was roughly look. it was roughly two and a half yeah um uh, and also Either way, <laughs> Toji finishes up with a 16 and 9. He does secure that top frag spot. Um, econ rating, you know, a little low. A little low for an econ rating, you know, for a 13-3 show. Uh, not very impressed with the econ, but I guess it doesn't really matter when you're 13-3. And it seems like we're going to have a, a guest caster. It's going to be insane. You saw from the first map, how does it feel to be this dominant insane? <laughs> And he played well. He did play well. What was your opinion on his uh, performance today? Joe's always impressive. He is just such a powerful man. Yeah, you know, a lot of power in that uh, man. You know, and not to diminish Joe any, but I think I would argue that literally everyone on the UJ Valorant team is pretty powerful. Yeah, and you guys have shown that, absolutely. Yeah, uh, it, it looks like a team that is not its first year playing together. It definitely looks like you guys have all played together at least for, you know, a season before. So really, uh, really glad to see you guys come out like that. Do have a question for you here. <laughs> in this first, or in your first map, the one that you were uh, playing for, um, you see that I believe on round four or five, um, you decide to push when there's an alarm bot right next to your feet and instantly get killed for it. And then three rounds later, you sit and you, you know, Kill end up with three. a 4K. Yeah. So what, what kind of went through your head through those f couple rounds of thought process? So what happened was I was long, long B on that site, and I was trying to reposition to get an angle that looked down, like, the corridor. Just, like, a crack of an angle that looked down the corridor. Okay. But the moment I turned my view... They walked into like the sight line. Like, yeah. The moment that I was turning, they were pushing. So it was just really bad timing. I even just like sat back in my chair. And yeah. The timing was rough. Classic Valorant timing, if I've ever seen it. Yeah. So then, but the way they swung it, they swung for like the site itself. I didn't swing the corner. Mm -hmm. So I saw that they didn't swing the corner, but that the corner looked like it was swing. Yeah, it was a very fun play to watch, uh, and. Especially, you know, picking up the 4K. And Toji does come in and steal your ace at the very end. But, you know, he's done that he twice that now today. So, you know, I think there needs to be some discussion <laughs> on when your team gets four kills that everyone just leaves. Because, just drop your guns. You know, it's all about the away. aces, yeah. right? Yeah. We're, just, we're just playing for the score. We don't need the ace. <laughs> well, that's what you like to hear. You want to hear about, you know, you want to hear securing victories before uh, showing off a little bit. But, yeah, you know. Great second game for their season. Um, I believe you guys play again next Monday as well. Uh, hopefully you'll continue this dominant run that you guys have been having. Um, it's been a great, or it's been great to cast. Oh, it's been so much fun casting Valorant. Like just casting in general this year has been really fun because our teams have been putting up really good performances for the most part, especially Valorant. Yeah, and uh, and you know that also goes out to our viewers though as well like you know the past the past week i think we had a like almost constant viewership for all of our games at about 20 viewers which mm -hmm. you know that's huge and you know big thanks to you guys uh coming out and supporting us and supporting our teams um across all different games uh we love to see you know we love to see the fans and put on for the or put on a good show for you guys mm-hmm
So the next upcoming event is – is does League play this week? Yes, League okay. plays on uh, Wednesday. Yep, so you'll have League Wednesday. Uh, there will be no Overwatch Thursday, but, you know, we'll, you'll get your League action and then – Back to Valorant on Monday, I'm pretty sure, is I don't think there's anything else. Nope. And then Tuesday, Overwatch plays, and Wednesday, League plays, and Thursday, I think Overwatch plays again. Yeah, I think I think Thursday we play again. <laughs> but um, so yeah, you know. th- this week is a little a little uh, slower. But next week, uh, prepare. Make yeah, sure no. you have your uh, your Doritos and Mountain Dew ready because there's going to be lots of gaming to be had. Yeah, um, gonna have all different games for you guys. All having really good starts to their season overall. Absolutely. I mean, you see Valorant start off with a very dominant 2-0. Yeah. Overwatch is 1-1 one and one right now. Dropped a tough one on thir- or this last Thursday. Which was but still a phenomenal a, series. Yeah, it was a very close game. And even the two league games, like, we ended up losing, or I guess the one league game. Yep. We ended up losing the league game. But, you know, a lot of promising things were being shown. And, you know, mm-hmm. long and season, you're going to see a lot of that swap around. Mm-hmm. And uh, I know the league team has definitely made some swaps. Uh, for example, uh, Too Spoiled, who you guys saw playing here in Valorant, uh, is going to be down in bot lane. And uh, Mr. Glockodile himself is going to be up in mid so there's going to be some swaps there. There's going to be some uh, some changes in shot calling. So uh, I definitely am anticipating watching uh, the the league game this Wednesday. It should be exciting. Yeah, I think uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be casting it with you. So I'm pretty sure that oh. come this uh, come this Wednesday, <laughs> we're gonna have a great time. As uh, the league team's definitely you know made some adjustments. They've noticed their mistakes from last week and mm-hmm. are looking to you know string together what they learned last week and hopefully get in that W column. Mm -hmm. Um, So big moves coming up this Wednesday. Uh, Be sure to tune in and check it out. That's pretty much all from us tonight. Um, You know, thanks for tuning in. You guys are the best. And, you know, we're your favorite casters. So it works out. I mean, collectively, yes. I mean, I think (laughs) one caster is more favorite than the other caster, which is understandable. Listen, we talked about this when you went to the bathroom. Me and chat had a heart to heart. And they decided it was me. I, and so, so I, I don't, I don't want to speak on Chad's behalf, but you were the only caster here, and they didn't want to upset you. So I, I know I've, I've spoken with Chad personally, um, and they have said that I'm actually the best caster they've ever seen, not just on UJ, but like in, in terms of casting things, uh, and that includes sports, esports, uh, like dubbing over anime. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> But you, you know, got to think, though, like, you may have the heart of chat on your side, <laughs> but, like, I have the ultimate chat member on my side. You have two of them. In Forehead's mom. Oh, you have, uh, you, so, <laughs> you, you have three of them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I have three loyal followers. And, you know, shout out Forehead's mom. Shout out the little Sheps in chat. You know, we, we out here grinding. And, <laughs> you know, one day we're going to surpass the clicky as the greatest UJ caster. Yeah, I mean, you can be very good. You can be, like, second best in history, but <laughs> don't get your hopes up too high. Well, you're right. That's because I'm playing most of the time. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all from us. Uh, be sure to tune in at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. Um, I believe it's 7. Yes, 7 I'm Central. Sure 7 too. Yeah, it should be 7 Central. If not, you know, hit that little notification. Mm-hmm. You'll get notified when we go live, and... Uh, be ready for some epic league action with lots of new ideas coming to the table. Mm-hmm. And uh, don't forget to hit the follow button. Uh, you can subscribe if you uh, feel so inclined. Uh, we still have those emotes on the way, so keep an eye out for those. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Just an awesome, awesome performance yeah, from great. the league team. I, I think uh, <laughs> that line kind of says some things. Yeah, uh, great job by the Valorant team tonight. And, you know, we'll catch you guys on Wednesday and hopefully continue Mm -hmm. as League of Legends steps up to the plate. Yeah. So thanks for tuning in, and I hope you guys have wonderful nights.